You ever feel like you just want to get out of here? You ever just want to escape and just get out of here and just leave, roam the countryside and just escape? Just in, just escape? Just just in, just in, in escape? Hey guys, one by touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Inkscape once again. Guys, they're getting cornier, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. They're getting cornier, okay? Somehow we've made it to a field of corn in the middle of Mississippi. But listen, we're gonna continue anyway. Alright, so we're back. Um, I'm excited because we're gonna be doing a simple vector style logo today in Inkscape. Um, and uh, yeah, I want this to be, just be super simple, super straightforward. Um, something you guys can do and kind of get your feet with make, making logos and stuff because I know you guys have been wanting a lot more uh, Inkscape kind of stuff so we're gonna be doing that and I just kind of want to do this like I said to get you guys' feet with wet with some more Inkscape like stuff so we're gonna just drag on over here until I find a nice teal color that I want to use which is this bed boy right here I'm gonna grab the uh, rect the, sorry the square or rectangle tool tool and we're just gonna drag a box open I'm gonna hold down um, control so it snaps to um, like you know a cube uh, a square rather just dra drag it open about that big, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to use this little tool right here, which is the Edit Paths tool. And we're going to grab this circle. We're gonna grab the circle, and then we're going to round the edges, which just looks super cool, right? So now we have that, like, it looks like a phone app logo, kind of, I guess. That's what I'm kind of going for right now. Um, so it looks really cool already by itself. Don't even need to do anything um, too much. You can also hold down, I think it is... Uh, yeah, shift. You hold on shift and make it not like symmetrical, but I don't I don't want that because that's weird. So it's just gonna have both of them be uh, the same amount of roundness on the top and the side. So that's that right there. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab. You can either make a symbol with some shapes, or you can just grab the um, the text tool and just type in a letter. Um, and I'm just gonna do. Um, I don't even know. Just do double M's, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what this application's for, but listen, it's oh well, listen, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best application you've ever seen. Um, I'm gonna select all that, and then I'm gonna change the size up here, um, make it bigger. Of course, we can actually just do this, but that's still not big enough. So we'll do nah, 500. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right, I'm also gonna change our color to white over here. Just drag that all the way over. Now, if you don't have this fill and stroke in this export, that's okay because it's gonna be up here. Uh, I just realized that that doesn't always come with it open. Um, so up here in object, just go to fill and stroke, which is which is right there. Um, yeah, so that's that's that fill and stroke, and you get this color panel over here. Um, I'll do a, I'll do a whole thing about setting Inkscape up. I actually had to set my Inkscape up again because uh, it's it's not set up right now. But I'll do that later on. But um, we're also going to need I'm gonna get rid of export and we're also gonna need to open up a line and distribute, distribute or distribute. However you wherever you're from, it's different. All right. Anyway, um, uh, we're gonna just grab this mm, and when I'm change the text first. I'm gonna change it to a different font. Um, what font do I want to use? I don't even know. Mm. Mm. What do we do? Mm. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I want to roll today, guys. I'm going to use this font, which is called Tangak. Yep, that's the name of it. Tangak. That's that's the name. I'm not making it up, guys. Like That's the name of the font. Is Tangak. Anyway, I'm going to grab that. And that actually looks really good. <laughs> wow. I'm going to grab this and drag a box over top of the square and over the text. We're going to go to align and, and distribute and distribute and center this on the vertical and on the horizontal. So now it's in the center of our, you know, square. Um, I want this to be gradient though. I don't like it. It, it, it could be done right now because this logo is very nice already the way that it is. But I, don't, I want to do a couple more things to it. So we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to grab the square. I'm going to change the uh, gradient type. We're going to change it to gradient type. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the node edit thing up here. And then grab these points. Put that one up there. And put this one down here. Um, so it's a nice little gradient from top to bottom. Hold down control to make it snap straight up and down. Um, and then we're going to change the color. So I'm going to grab the this one up here, which is white. Um, actually, wait. I'm gonna grab that one up there, which is white. Change, uh, turn the transparency all the way up, and then we're going to grab the one on the bottom, and then just make it slightly darker, 
and then add a little bit more blue to it. And actually, I might, I might brighten it. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That looks so cool. Um, yeah, this looks like some logo. I can't remember what it is. It's like Trello? Is that what? What is? It? I don't know what it is, but it looks like something. I can't think of what it is. But um, what even is Trello? I don't know what that is. What did I just say? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this Bezier Curves tool. I'm gonna see if I can do something kind of cool right here, maybe. I'm gonna pull this across like that, and then snake it down, and maybe like this, like that, and then have it come back around. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Might have to edit some of these lines, but that's fine because we can because it's vector. We gotta love that. I do love raster, but listen, editing lines sometimes in vector work is just so satisfying. Craziness, craziness. We we'll just edit that real quick. Pull that up. It's kind of it's too thick. And maybe this. There we go. All right. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. So we're gonna go ahead and go off of that. Now we're gonna go to um, the stroke paint. Turn that to zero. Turn that. Turn it off. Sorry. Turn the paint all the way on. And I'm gonna change this to white. And we're gonna have to obviously do a little bit of smoothing out here because it's you know this is rough right here, and in a few other areas as well. But yeah, this looks really good. I like this. Um, yeah, that's a nice little line. Maybe this is like some. Oh, I know. Maybe this is like a surfing application when it tells you when the when the waves are good. Yeah, that's possible. Yep, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. It tells you when the waves are good. Yep, that's what this application does. And it's also it's also not a free application. You have to pay $7.99 for it. It's not a free app. It's not one of those. Because this we, we, we tell you the good waves, okay? Those other surfing apps, they tell you the bad waves, all right? We tell you when the good waves are ready to be surfed, okay? We don't just give you those crap waves, okay? We don't just do that, all right? Uh, I'm gonna do a little piece right here as well. We're gonna turn the stroke paint off and turn the fill all the way on. Make sure that's white again. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mess around with this line. Um, like that. Yeah, that looks good. We can do this all day. I can add all kinds of more of these little trinket thingies. Trinkets? That's not a trinket. What am I saying? Um, but we can add all kinds of these little pieces. These little pieces of water, I guess they are. Um, I can do this forever. Just make sure you don't go overboard because it's very easy to go overboard with something like this. So I think I'm gonna do one right here and then we're gonna call it for today's tutorial. Um, the funny thing is, I always say tutorial at the end of the video. Like I always say, thanks for watching the video. But the funny thing is, when I say, when I talk about the fact that I make tutorials, I never say tutorial because that's not how I say it. Why do I always say that at the end of videos? I say tutorial. It's a tutorial. I make tutorials, guys. Why do I always say thanks for watching this tutorial? Why do I do that? I don't know. I don't understand me sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move that piece right there. That looks good. I think this one's too thick for the rest of them, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it thinner. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Get out of here. Um, uh, yeah, that looks fine. Still kind of thick on the top there. There we go. All right. So now I feel like this isn't centered anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to hold down shift and select all of these, then select the square last, then go to align it. Oh, I forgot I was going to do that. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. We got to unselect the background. We're going to right click all of the letters, and then we're going to go ahead and hit group. And then we're going to select the, the square, then the letters, and then hit uh, align distribute, distribute um, for the horizontal and the vertical, vertical. Now this one is too thin, so I'm gonna right-click this, uh, ungroup. Now we have all those pieces separate again. I'm gonna grab this piece and just pull it up like that because it's too thin. You need a sandwich. All right, there we go. Something good like that. I like that. That looks really cool. Very simple, very straightforward. I really like that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.